Tonight, a global aerospace giant employing thousands of people in Missouri looking toward its future. Boeing is one step closer to embarking on a nearly $2 billion expansion. Boeing is, in fact, the largest manufacturer in the state. In the St. Louis area, the company's operations largely focus on defense. Tonight, the St. Louis County Council advanced a plan giving Boeing big tax breaks. The incentives would go toward building a new facility on Lambert International Airport's grounds. But first alert for is John Kipper found some people don't want that deal to happen, John. Yeah, that's right, Corey Sam. It's one of the top 100 biggest companies in America, and they want to invest almost $2 billion into the region, giving out over $100 million in taxes to local governments. But after the county denied a tax break to seniors, some I spoke with say Boeing shouldn't get one either. No, absolutely not. I mean, why? Why would we want to do that? This group of four St. Louis County men were blunt about what they think of Boeing getting tax breaks after they say their own taxes continue to go up. Our property taxes are going here, mm -hmm. but our Social Security relief is coming to here. Nonetheless, there is plenty of benefits that county and school districts will be getting if the deal is approved. While Boeing would save $155 million in taxes over 10 years, it would also spend the same amount in taxes bringing in revenue for a county in a deficit. And it will also add over $2 million of revenue to the airport annually, leasing out land that is currently undesirable. A good portion of it is a very big eyesore to the airport. It would also add around 500 well-paying jobs, something that excites Phyllis Ellison, who runs the Workforce Solutions Group at St. Louis Community College. They're already a partner with Boeing, training students in five weeks to work at the company, and most end up with jobs there. If Boeing were to expand in different ways, I would suspect that we would likely continue to adapt our training to what their existing needs are. And she says the area is ripe with talent. Ellison says there is over 100,000 workers in the region that fit the profile of what Boeing may want. We have a lot of workers already in there, and we certainly know that we have to be training the next generation of workers um, to support companies like Boeing. There's also the chance that if St. Louis County denies tax breaks, Boeing will move those jobs elsewhere. Something that doesn't bother these seniors. What if Boeing says they're going to take that project elsewhere? Okay, bye. Now, nothing is official yet, so what's next? The council could advance the plan next week and then pass it at the end of the month. And the city runs the airport, so the Board of Aldermen would also have to sign off on the project later on. Reporting in studio, John Kipper, First Alert 4. John, thank you.